Hello everyone, welcome to Haley Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys? Scorpios, let's see what's changing in your love life. Who's interested in you, Scorpio? Who's coming your way? You can flip the energy. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Who's interested in you? Who's, oops, who's coming your way? Who's interested in Scorpio and coming their way? Who's interested in Scorpio coming their way? And we have two. <laughs> Someone a little shy. Shy, but very curious. <laughs> this is somebody who wants to, you know, hey, do you want to go for a cup of coffee, a drink? But they're kind of holding back. They're looking for some kind of clarity here. Very curious. This is likely somebody here who's just holding back right now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they're not so sure if things will go in their favor. You can see that energy, see? They're looking for some kind of clarity. Now, this could be someone who's been kind of holding back, maybe because they feel something won't go their way. But it's an energy of someone who chooses their battles, chooses their words wisely. Okay, so it's definitely a person who's in their feelings here, though. Yeah, they want to start something, but they're not so sure it'll go in their favor. But there's definitely a cycle ending. Oh, yeah, it's an energy of somebody who's gone through a lot of change. Could be somebody coming back around. So I feel as though this is someone who, I definitely see the, the apprehension. Because there's something that they want to know, okay? And I think this person knows, too. I feel that things won't go in their favor if they uh, don't communicate clearly, okay? So there's something to do with that, with this person. So little Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I do see this person coming back around. Yeah, see, it's about taking a risk, okay? So this is about taking a leap of faith, going off on a new path. Uh, I can see this person. Oh, yeah, they're definitely strategizing, taking a risk. So this is somebody who's kind of been in their head. So their strategy is, is to kind of just go with the flow, you see, to just go with the flow, see how things go, and just go for it. Oh, yeah, that's the plan. If they want things to go in their favor, then they have to take a risk. <laughs> Cute. So let's see where this goes and then I'll clarify. Yeah, yeah. So I can see this energy. So this is someone trying to figure something out. Very strategic. They look at the facts. Very logical. And they know if they don't take a risk, uh, you'll get away. Because they don't want you to get away. Right? So this is someone who doesn't want you to get away. It's possible you are the one that's already gotten away or they, they're thinking about that. But they're very strategic. Very logical. And they, you know, they're pretty wise. This person's pretty smart. So... This person's just looking at the facts, and it has to do with safety, security, financial stability, partnering up. Now, this person's looking at the situation. It could be someplace you may work in the same building, okay? Ten of Pentacles is sometimes a public place. It's a safe place where people shop, where they congregate, where they spend money. This is somebody who's financially stable, very logical. Uh, so I do feel this is someone who, like how this is going to go, uh, this person doesn't want you to get away. And they know you will if they don't take a risk. And that's what I feel this is. And this actually could uh, turn out to be some kind of partnership. But they're more than likely kind of just looking at the facts, wanting to reach out. So it could be a place of business. You may go to their place of business, vice versa. Yeah, there we go. See, they're tempering their thoughts, you know, their emotions. You see, they're looking at things. They're, this person's ready to try something different. So if it is somebody here... Um, if you know who this is, they're looking at things differently. You're definitely different than the usual type, okay? But I actually feel this is somebody a little bit on the eccentric side as well. Um, but I think they're ready to try something different. They're looking at the facts. If they don't take a risk, they won't get what they want, okay? So they're tempering their thoughts, their passions. So I do see this person definitely... Uh, there could be, if you are, if you work in the service industry, this person likely comes in and they're looking at things. Uh, they're looking at all the facts here, trying to figure you out. See, they're trying to figure you out here. But, you know, they know if they don't take a leap of faith, you will go off in another direction. Okay? Yeah. You might, like I say, they're, it's an energy of someone who's ready. You are different than their usual type, and more than likely they're different than yours. So we shall see. Tell me about this page of cups. 
Yeah, see, it's about taking a risk. They're apprehensive about taking a leap of faith. And this is going to require both of you, okay, because they're not one on top of the other. They're actually in different placements. So this is about leaving something behind. You know what they're going to leave behind is that shyness. They're going to take a risk. They're going to go for it, okay? Yeah, this person's really curious about you. Uh, they see you as somebody very playful, very lively, but I feel that's themselves as well. That's that youthful side, that uh, side that pushes through fear, you see, pushing through that fear and just going for it. So, because I think curiosity is getting the best of this person. <laughs> mm -hmm. They want something to go in their favor, the strategy. If they want it to go in their favor, they need to make an offer. So they want to start something. They're going to offer you something here. Now, I do see this energy of feeling on top of the world, you see. Look at that. See, I feel this person's just coming to the conclusion, realizing that you're going to get away. Uh, they need to get out of their head. They need to temper their thoughts, okay? It's an energy of being patient. So I think this person's just tired of being patient, and they're just going to go for it. <laughs> I think you're going to go for it, too. Mm -hmm. well, Scorpio energy. They might have a little Aries in their chart. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about that Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. See, is this person's a little worried things won't go in their favor. You may not reciprocate. You may not be interested. They may just drop a couple of hints here. But they actually want to start something. You know. And I do think you are going to go for it. I see two people taking a risk here. Just going for it. Having a good time. I see playful, youthful kind of energy pushing through that fear and having a good time. You don't know where it's going to go, okay? It's an energy of not worrying about where it's going. Temper your thoughts. Don't look at the outcome. Just go with the flow. And that's what I feel. They need to just go with the flow and see where it goes. <laughs> I actually feel feeling, if you respond and reciprocate, they're going to feel on top of the world. Oh, yes, they will. They may not let you know <laughs> how they're feeling inside here. Oh my goodness, yeah. This could actually go somewhere, which is, yeah. A little eccentric energy. This person's somewhat eccentric. Very smart, though, very bright. Yeah, see, it's an energy of being single, going with the flow. So this is definitely uh, somebody here who uh, is definitely looking out for themselves as well, but they're taking a risk. So, yeah, definitely single. Once If this person finds out you are single, they're going to go for it, okay? So there could be something there they're curious about, whether you're actually single, okay? But they're going to, they're going to, they if they want things to go in their favor, they need to do, they need to go for it, okay? Absolutely. So uh, they're definitely someone who's used to kind of keeping things to themselves, okay? Uh, but I think this is someone who they dress very nice, okay? Uh, definitely an energy of dressing for success. They look successful. <laughs> You're going to go for it. Yeah, they are financially stable. Uh, they do work with facts and figures. So I feel they uh, maybe work, uh, do some accounting, things like that. Uh, could be a business owner. So very, very logical. So the, the reasoning this person has is it's time to just try something different and just go for it. So there we are. Yeah, nice energy. Yeah, even if they get rejected, you see, that's the energy. You know, they feel like you may reject them. You may not be interested. They're not really sure, but they're going for it anyway. Okay, I can see it. Uh, they are in their head looking at it. It's possible you might not be interested. But you know what? Win or lose. I mean, it could be yourself, Scorpio. Okay, you can flip the energy. But I actually feel it's both of you. Um, this person sees you as playful, lively, but you take care of yourself. You have your serious side, the very youthful energy. So I see this youthful, playful energy. It's sort of like, well, if you're not interested and you say thanks, but no thanks, okay, then they're going to keep trying. This person's not going to give up. They're going to keep trying because they're looking at the facts here. They don't want you to get away. It's about being more playful, okay? It's about taking risks. Love is always a risk, okay? And I see this person seeing that reasoning. Yeah, but they're not so sure. Like, this is the thing. They're going to take a risk, but they don't know if you're going to say no thanks because you're not single. Because I can see this person kind of, you know, strategizing, looking into the future, being kind of prepared here. 
So yeah, see, they're learning something. This person also knows they'll just move away calmly and peacefully. So they're not so sure if they should move on to avoid a disaster or not. But, you know, they're calming. It's just about being patient, tempering their passions. It's about two people taking the time to get to know each other. So that's where I feel, you know. It's about being patient, taking the time. Uh, they're learning something. It's a l energy of learning as they go. So this person, I feel in some parts of their life, they'll take a risk. They faced rejection before. They just move on, okay? Move on to something else calmly and peacefully. So I feel like that's what they're looking at, all the facts of this situation. Very wise person. Yeah, very playful, okay? Now, you might think this person's a bit of a player, okay? Um, but I, I don't think this person's a player. I, I feel it's more like they're looking at the facts. If they want to partner up with someone, they need to be more playful, no, they need to get out of their head and temper their thoughts because they are somebody who really focuses and they're like that crazy logical energy where, you know, they need to look at every little detail because why they want to win, right? This person wants to win and they don't want you to get away. So, yeah, there they are. See, being patient, waiting for the right opportunity. So it's been about a little bit of a timing issue. This could be somebody at a distance, so there could be a little issue with that where they feel like you may not be interested because they maybe they travel for work or maybe this person is someone who lives at a distance. But I really feel it's about looking at the facts, moving forward calmly and peacefully. The more they learn, the more they know. Uh, it's about this investing, see, investing in a partnership, waiting for the right time. This person may work in investments, financial advisor, things like that. I definitely feel they're eccentric, okay? I can definitely see their eccentric energy. Uh, somebody who's a very deep thinker, too, and I do think they like to have deep conversations. So there it is. See, they're trying to figure out. They want to win, how to get things to go in their favor, and they're looking already strategizing if it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. There we are, dating and courting, trying something different. So this person's exploring their feelings and emotions here. Uh, so I do see this person trying something different. So it's about dating and courting, taking things slow, just sort of exploring, taking the time to get to know you. Uh, so because you know what? You're worth it. And that's what I feel. They're offering you something. They're hoping you're going to take this offer that you'll reciprocate. So they may invite you somewhere. It could be a little trip. Maybe, hey, do you want to go for a drive? Okay. But yeah, I can see this energy of taking a risk. See, they know if they don't take a risk, they're not going to get what they want. It's likely someone who's taken a risk with something before. But I actually feel with this person, uh, I feel they're very smart. And I feel as though they do work with uh, facts, figures, money, maybe like I say, a financial advisor. Okay. Uh, and that's what I feel they're looking at. It's about waiting for something to pay off. They want to win. They're hoping whatever this is pays off. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like it's anything heavy. They are a little concerned you'll, you won't go for it. But, it, you know, they're not going to get what they want if they don't take a risk. I've taken risks before. I can see it. Now, they are definitely somebody who... Um, I think you're going to go for it because I feel this person looks really good or successful or vice versa. So this is who they are. Somebody who kind of sticks to themselves. You know, they dress very nice. This person definitely could, like I say, they could be somewhere at a distance because I'm seeing the world. I'm seeing travel. So someone who's been kind of doing their own thing. But I don't think this person wants to stay single. And I feel like there's that energy where this is somebody who likely was afraid to take risks in the past, a fear of being rejected, but they're doing it. So it's really all it's about here. Tell me a little bit more about this Four of Cups. Yeah, it's getting in their head. They want to win. This person just wants to win. I actually feel it's an energy of taking a risk to just ask you if you're single. Okay, and if you are, or if you're not, the way they're thinking, their logic, they'll just move on. So there it is. This is two people. You're both kind of thinking the same thing here. So I do see a two of cups, two people drinking from each other's cups, soulmate connection. So there's going to be a connection here. Yeah, but they're, you know, like I say, they're exploring their feelings. At some point here, they're not 100% sure, but they want to get to know you more, you see. Now, this could be somebody who uh, turned you down in the past or vice versa. 
because they felt, you know, they took this leap of faith and did take the time to get to know you if you know who it is. But I kind of, I don't really see reconciliation or uh, it's possible that somebody coming back around single, okay, or maybe they just want to know if you are. But yeah, I feel like there's a connection. This is about a soulmate connection, two people seeing eye to eye. And I'm going to tell you that something that you have is that some kind of uh, eccentric energy. I think we've got we, what we have is two people taking the time to get to know each other, figuring each other out. It's two people trying to figure each other out because I feel there's a, an energy where this person can't figure you out or you can't figure them out. But why? Because you need to move forward. Just calm down. You see, it's an energy of just calming down and being patient. You're definitely um, have things that are very similar, but yet different. OK, uh, but I don't think this person can resist. OK, so if it is somebody here where, you know, it didn't go anywhere, it's like they started something that didn't go anywhere. They're definitely coming back around again, okay? Yeah, you've got a person here who doesn't want... You could be the one that got away. <laughs> it's possible. But they definitely don't want you to get away. They want things to go in their favor. So they're determined to win. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. So yeah, they're going to date. They want to date you. They want to explore a little bit more, learn a little bit more about you. Yeah, so there you are. They know too. You know what you want. You're not settling. So you definitely stand up for yourself. So I do think this person's sort of trying to figure you out, but I think that's both of you. And I do tell you what they have figured out. You won't settle because you know what you want. So they're, they're attracted to that. They like that. You take care of yourself. Very independent. They like that too. You see, and I feel like you both share that energy, but this person has definitely been single for a while. I do feel they've traveled, uh, you know, they may travel for work. So maybe this is why this person hasn't really uh, made any kind of a commitment. But I do see a commitment to being patient, okay, uh, coming together. So I do see uh, this person could be like you could go to their place of business, vice versa. But it's but this person waiting for the right opportunity, they're trying to figure out when the time is right. So there's something about the timing. But yeah, look at that beautiful energy. Now, it's possible this person, you know, is attracted to you. Maybe they were in a relationship. Who knows? But it looks like they were just a little apprehensive of taking the risk. I think you're both going to go for it. I see playful, youthful side, pushing through fear, just going with it. Kind of figuring it out as you go. That's what I feel is going to happen. Just going with the flow, figuring it out as you go. And it's about it going in both people's favor. So what what they have, like I say, what they figured out is you know what you want and you won't settle. They see it was very independent. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're different than the usual type. See, this person's used to people who aren't very independent is what I feel. It's usually the opposite. So, um but yeah, there's definitely this energy of uh, being eccentric. You're different than their usual type. So they're going to have to try something different. <laughs> oh yeah, they're into it. Very into it. You are different. I can see it, but yet you're very much the same. And it comes, it, what you're sharing is the fool energy, pushing through fear, taking risks. Now, maybe this person takes uh, financial risks, okay, building business, whatever it is, travel. Uh, but when it comes to their love life, you see, they lack that uncertainty. They are a little concerned you're going to say no or that you just won't be single. So it's definitely someone around you, someone coming back around. But I'm not seeing reconciliation. Interesting. You may have taken a risk and offered this person something, but I feel like it's them, see? I feel like it's this person. They have a little Aries in their chart. There's a little bit of fire here. But you, Scorpio, you have that Mars energy as well. I do see a Virgo energy, Taurus or Capricorn. Okay. So a person's ready for change. I feel they've been single for quite some time. And I do see this energy of feeling on top of the world, ready for change. Maybe this person's, you know, someone around you seeing that you've changed. Okay. <laughs> but yeah I, I like it though because they what they see and they're figuring out is you're not settling 
you know what you want. Maybe this person felt you were a little bit of a player, but it's really more of a, um, you know, sometimes when people put themselves out there and they're really playful and really friendly, other people think that they're making a move. Okay, so maybe this person wasn't sure. So they're trying to figure out whether you're just being playful or being friendly or if you actually want to uh, connect or vice versa. So yeah, that's where you're at here. But they know you know what you want and you're not settling. They see you as very passionate, very creative, possibly hardworking, very, very independent. Now you're different, you see. So because you're different, they have to try something different. So that's that energy of dating. If they want things to go in their favor, see, there's that moment where they figure it out. If they want to win and they want it to go in their favor, they have to date you. Okay, take you out, do things, spend time together, um, maybe little road trips, traveling. But it's about moving forward, taking the time to get to know each other. Instead of moving away to avoid a disaster. See, this is likely somebody or maybe even yourself that kind of moved on. Some of you may have actually relocated. Okay, so this could be somebody too at some point who moved on. Uh, maybe um, something started, uh, never went anywhere because someone relocated. Or maybe somebody wasn't quite single. Um, but there's definitely a, a connection. Now, this could be a friend as well uh, who wants to... You know, very curious about you. They may be apprehensive about taking a risk. You might not feel the same about them. So it really could be just a friend, somebody that you connect with. Maybe even somebody you work with. But I do see a place of business. I see stability, partnering up, investing in a partnership. But there's feelings and emotions here. So... Yeah, this person does take a little time to figure out how they feel, okay, most definitely. So you need to temper your passions and your emotions, okay? It's telling you to be patient with this person. Give them a chance to figure out how they feel. Because uh, I feel like you this could actually go somewhere. So let's have a couple more cards for her lovely Scorpios. Yeah, very sexy, very charming, playful, youthful, fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very independent, though. Yeah, you can take care of yourself, you see. Some of you may have traveled. Maybe you met somebody on a trip. Maybe you went on a trip by yourself and met this person. Something here. Like, I do feel it's an energy of coming back around, change. But it's a very, very positive energy. Yeah, see, we have a little cancer. They may have some cancer in their chart. So it's an energy of someone coming in to take control, but not being ruled by their emotions. Okay, so it's an energy of yourself. Maybe you're a little controlling. It's telling you to let go of control. Don't try to control this. Just be uh, patient. It's saying to calm down. Don't try to control the speed at which this goes. So maybe that's something that happened. But I see a car, a vehicle, a trip, and driving. Okay, so it's an energy of this person coming in to take control. So let this person feel like they're in control, okay? Yeah, there's something here about that energy. It's that Mars energy, that, that little bit of that Aries energy. And you definitely have that, Scorpio, because that's uh, one of your planets. So, yeah, I think you're not afraid to take risks. I feel like maybe you did. Like maybe you went on a trip by yourself and connected with this person and then you kind of moved on, went back home. Um, okay, but yeah, don't try to control this, whatever you do. Don't try to control this person. Let them think they're in control. So try, it's telling you to try something different, okay? So, yeah, because I feel at some point here, maybe you tried to take control because this person was apprehensive, okay? There's something there, but this this could be successful. It's saying this this could actually be successful. It's about staying on course. One more card for Scorpio. Oh, yeah, this person's becoming decisive. So there's definitely some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. Yeah, strong Libra. So it's about doing the right thing. 
Okay, so it's about justice and balance commitment. This person's becoming decisive. Uh, it's a definitely an energy of someone who chooses their battle. So let this person feel like they're in control. Okay, so that's where I feel it's telling you. Just let them take control. Don't try to control it. Let them become sure about what they want and their feelings. Because once this person feels like they're in control, they'll become clear. So it's something to do with marriage commitment or justice and balance between two people. It's about playing fair. Okay, and it's about balance. It's about two people being just right for each other. Yeah, so there's something here. You're very different, but yet very much the same. Okay, so you have your differences, but you have your similarities, which makes you just right. You see? <laughs> Something to do with marriage and commitment, a partnership, whether two people have each other's best interest at heart. It's about being patient. It's about showing that they're invested, see? Maybe that's yourself. You kind of take control to let this person know you're interested, invested in them. But I feel it's just letting them feel like they're in control, okay? You know, don't try to overpower this person because they are someone who chooses their battles, chooses their words wisely. So if they feel like things are going to get out of control, this person will definitely uh, take off. So maybe this is something that's happened. But yeah, they're coming in. Um, this person sees you as just right here, but it's about coming in right, doing things the right way. Okay, so let this person sort of explore their feelings and emotions. Ooh, this could actually go to a commitment. All right, Scorpio, take care, and we'll see you soon.